American professor investigated for showing Prophet Muhammad drawing. It's happened again, you guys. The clash between academic freedom and religious sensitivity has taken center stage yet again, and this time it's at the San Francisco State University that's under fire. Recently, a controversy erupted after allegations that the university was planning to investigate Dr. Maziar Behruz, an associate professor of history, for showing an image of the Prophet Muhammad while teaching Islamic history. The incident occurred during Professor Behruz's fall 2022 class when a devout Muslim student objected vehemently to the drawing of the Prophet Muhammad that was shown in class. Despite the professor's effort to explain that the view of the student was not universal among all Muslims, the matter escalated quickly and the student complained to the university's department chair as well as other higher authorities at SFSU. The fallout from the incident has been significant with the university's Office of Equity Programs and Compliance informing Professor Behruz of the investigation in March of 2023. This happened in the fall. They're now like in March, they're like, we're gonna investigate you. The Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression or FIRE for short has come out strongly against F SFSU's actions condemning the university for its handling of the situation. So this is outrageous because we had a situation happen in Minnesota at the Liberal Arts College Hamline University where there was an assistant art history professor who was, her contract was not renewed essentially because she showed a piece of artwork that is regarded as an Islamic masterpiece which depicts the Prophet Muhammad in the context of the class. And the controversy at Hamline University was so bad that I think the Board of Trustees gave a vote of like no confidence to the president. And it got so bad that the president of that university now has to retire. She's retiring next year because of the backlash against people saying it is unacceptable for, an, for our standards of American academic freedom for you to do this. So I like the reaction against Hamline is exactly what I need. It's exactly mm -hmm. what we should have when we're saying it is unacceptable for you to be curtailing sensitive and difficult discussions in an academic university setting because of supposed offense and slights towards equity, right? It's unacceptable. Somehow, that all that happened at Hamline University within the past few months. This whole thing with Professor Behruz, he this the original incident happened in the fall, and they decided to investigate him recently. So I don't know what they saw where they're like, no, we want to go down this path too. So Fire, which is um, a fantastic organization, they work to protect the academic freedom rights of academics and students on the university campus. Um, they sent a very strongly worded letter to SFSU, which I read, and they basically outline all the ways in which merely suggesting an investigation can itself be deemed illegal over an oh, incident wow. like this. Yeah. So they, they've come out in very strong support for, for him. And he was like, I've been teaching this class for years. I've been showing this for years. No one ever had an incident. This view that this is su such a bad slight, like is not universal among all Muslims. Like he outlined his case very, very well. And mm. I'm again, again, and the fact that he's Iranian also must just, he like, <laughs> This always gets me when these academic freedom issues happen because of offense to Islam in an American university setting to Iranian academics and artists and students. It's not my experience, but I can only imagine how mind boggling and insulting it must be. Yeah. No, I was thinking that I think like more um, uh, Iranians should in, in the US should need to hear about this because they would be outraged. Like mm -hmm. this is not viral news among Iranians in the U.S. I, yet, but there needs to be a lot of support, like a lot of social media backlash to this. I think so. We're gonna try to help in bringing because we have a, um, access to some part of the Iranian community, atheist community. So let me see what we could do about that. Um, 
but also <laughs> university professors. Yeah, go on. Well, okay. The fact that this happened at SFSU is not surprising to me, though, because like I went, I lived in San Francisco for so long. I had friends that went to SFSU, and FSFSU is the kind of school where they will go have students go screaming, protesting in front of the dean's office because there was a crime that was committed on campus, and the campus police decided to actually include a physical description of the suspect, so you know that they can be identified. But including mm -hmm. physical descriptors of a suspect is apparently now promoting bigotry and racism and stereotypes against a community when they're just trying to say, hey, this person committed a crime on our campus. We need to watch out for them. Here are identifiable features so that we can protect our community. They're mm. so freaking mm. ma mad that that <laughs> just identifying features of a criminal suspect is now promoting hate and bigotry. So like this is this this is the culture and this is the standard and I know people that like with that incident with the crime that happened on the campus I I was friends with I would I was dating someone that was involved with like rah rah protesting against that <laughs> so <laughs> the fact that this happened isn't completely surprising to me because the culture there can I mean it can be so off but um. To still have it, be, what, what did surprise me is that this is happening in light of what happened at Ham, at Hamline University, because the backlash against Hamline was so bad, and rightfully so, rightfully so, it deserved to be bad. <laughs> and they're like, no, 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 we're going to move forward with this. This seems like a good idea. <laughs> I'm like, no. So I do want, I do think more professors should like support each other, and when something like this happens. For them to start showing the same picture in their class as well like they need to stand up for each other so i, I want there to be like, i don't know why more professors are not coming out and like okay if you're doing this i'm going to show it as well even if my class has nothing to do with it um yeah so this guy is saying the historical image that professor mozier behruz showed to his fall uh, 2022 class is displayed at holy shrines in iran no matter, one student complains, so the SFSU administration has sprung into action. The Hamline U scandal all over again. Okay, yeah. This is so ridiculous. Like, what are these people thinking? I don't understand. I really don't understand. Well, no, because we need to get our lords and saviors, our, our, our high holy priests from the equity office to come yes. and preside over everything and make sure that everything is sanctified perfectly so. Well, actually <laughs> silencing minority voices when they say that they're protecting minority voices. Can you sense yeah. that I'm a little bit bitter? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good take. We should cut that part out the way that you said that. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Okay. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.